Hello, Wendy. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. I I am so glad that you are on time tonight. Tengo problemas con mi cámara, teacher. Este oh, really? porque la computadora no me no me funciona. Oh. Entonces me he conectado desde el teléfono. Oh, okay, okay. I will I will take that in consideration. Y um, pero en, en el teléfono sí, puede, sí tiene la función de entrar y escribir en la pantalla y las otras funciones. Eh, creería yo que sí, fíjese. Okay. Voy a ver porque sería primera vez que me conecto en el teléfono. Ok, ok. Pero quiero ver. Poco a poco las va a ir descubriendo las funciones a través del teléfono. Hello, Giovanni. Welcome, Ana Cristina. Ah, both Giovannis. <laughs> yeah. Oh, welcome. Welcome to your class. We are going to start taking the attendance. How are you doing, guys? Just let me get this. How are you doing? Fine. Fine. Okay. How was your day to tonight? I'm sorry. How was your day today, Giovanni Pineda? Uh, all very good, teacher. Okay. Okay. Good. good. Did you have a lot of work? A lot of work. <laughs> yes. Or or just as usual. A lot of work. A lot of work. Okay. Yeah. Well, and how was your day, Giovanni Ramirez? Hello, teacher. Hello. How was your day today? Did you have a lot of work? Mm. Eh, As usual. Cansado, ¿cómo sería, teacher? Uh, tiring. Tiring, exhausting. Eso. Exhausting. Okay, say it with me. Say it with me, Giovanni. Hey, come on. <laughs> exhausting. Okay, exhausting. Exhausting. Yes, exhausting. Uh -huh. It means that you are really tired because you had a lot of work to do, to do or you did a lot of work today, right? And how was your day, Kevin? Oh, I think he is still connecting with the audio. Okay, we are gonna start taking the attendance, okay? Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Okay. Ana del Carmen Mejia Alvarez. Ana del Mi Herrera Morales. Carlos Alberto Melendez Rosales. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Okay. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Linda, are you there? Not yet. All right. Nancy Ivetova Rivera. Not yet. Silvio Enrique Cortez Flores. Present. Okay. 
Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Okay. Good evening teacher, present. Good evening Annie. Okay, I'm, I'm going to check you in. One second, let me check you in. There you are. Okay, I think Kevin too, right? There you were. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to apologize because I made two mistakes last class. Um, we usually watch the video later and I remember that someone of you said the correct pronunciation and the correct word. I was thinking I didn't check that word. I'm so sorry and I apologize. Okay, um, it's reams of paper. Okay, yo estaba pronunciando resums. Es reams, okay? Reams of paper, resmas de papel, reams of paper. And the other pronunciation, secretary, okay? It is secretary, secretary, okay? Usualmente decimos secretary, porque en nuestro idioma nosotros decimos secretaria. Ahí, ahí hacemos el uh, uh, strong voice, pero es secretary, okay? En la primera sílaba, I said the second, so I made that mistake too. So I apologize for that. I didn't check it. Um, before telling you, okay? Then let's continue tonight. Okay, I just want to say hello. Hello, Silvio. Hello, Annie. How was your day tonight? today? How do you feel tonight? Silvio, Annie? I'm okay. Okay, nice to hear that you're okay. Are you still in your in your workplace or are you now at your house? In my house. Oh, thank God. In I... September. September oh, okay. to begin September in the, change. the office. Oh, okay. Okay, then I was expecting for that. So um, let's see. Uh, hello, Carlos Eduardo, welcome. Okay, we are going to start tonight with the new topic. Uh, just as a matter, uh, as a manner of feedback, I just want you to tell me what we have studied in this module. Okay, ¿cuál fue nuestro primer tema? Let's see. Someone, anyone? Our first topic. Do you remember? A ver, ¿cuál fue nuestro primer tema? Do you remember? Count and not count and non-count nouns those i mean that topic is kind of difficult in some way in some way because of the concepts we have for counting and non-counting concepts from objects that may be in spanish we can count those objects and in english we can't okay so let's be careful with that and after that topic we studied about how to express obligation how to talk about your obligations do you remember what verb do we use to say that we have an obligation Obligation. What is the verb to express obligation? Have and has. Excellent. Have to. Remember, we need to add the particle to. If we don't add to, then it means that we are referring to possession, okay, to the other meaning of that verb. So let's remember have to. I, you, we, they have to do something, okay? Or, or not doing something. So it, we say, uh, I, you, we, they don't have to, okay? Now, let's go um, to the topic for tonight. Um, just let me try to share this in the best 
way I, uh, I can do it. Okay, just give me one second. I'm going to close this first. Okay. Now let me share the screen with you. Okay, here we are. This is the topic for the video conference number number three. Number three. What date is it today, guys? What date is it today? Today is August. The twenty third. Twenty third. Remember the ordinal numbers. August the 23rd. Okay, today on Monday, we are going to study. Thank you, Edwin. Now we are going to study can. This is a modal verb, okay? This is a modal verb and it helps us to uh, ask for information. And it helps us also to talk about possibilities. Okay, possibility things that might or might not happen or be in the way that we need um, to do something, or we are asking for that information, or maybe we are expressing possibility, okay? So today we are going to start studying can for possibility, and asking for information. What is our objective? Objective for tonight. Let's see. Okay, this is our class object, objective. I'm sorry. Okay, objective. Let's read it. Participants will be able to ask some questions using can for asking for information and for possibility as well, okay? So we are going to study how to ask questions, okay? Questions, tonight we are going to have conversation. Asking questions, of course, given an answer to the, those questions, okay? Giving an answer to those questions. Now, I want to hear you guys. And, okay, before going to the agenda, can you please read the objective for tonight, Wendy? What is the purpose? Wendy Xiomara. Hello, teacher. Uh, hello. Can you read the objective for tonight? Participants will be able uh, to ask some questions using can for asking for information and for possibilities as, as well. Thank you very much, Wendy. So now we know what's the objective for tonight. What is the purpose? At the end of this class, we need to check if we learn to ask some questions using can, okay? Now, let's see. The agenda for tonight is that we are gonna have a little feedback, a conversation time. And the feedback is about the obligations, okay? And well, we read the, um, the class objectives already. So we are going to have a short briefing about how to ask questions using can. After that, we are going to have some written activities. After that, we are going to have the opportunity to 
create our own conversation using can, okay? It's a conversation time that you are going to have with your classmates, okay? Let's start with the feedback, okay? Empecemos con un pequeño repaso. Aquí hay una conversacioncita bien interesante, okay? This is a conversation we can practice. And these people, these two people are talking about obligations. What's the verb to express obligations? Have, okay? I'm going to read the conversation first, and then I'm going to ask two of you to uh, role play this conversation, okay? We have Feliz and Sadi, okay? Feliz is a happy person, and Sadi is like a sad person, okay? Let's read it. Hello, Sadi. Welcome. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, this is the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to go for the supplies. Okay, where do I have to go for the supplies? You have to go to the central warehouse and to the hardware store in Atlanta. Okay, where do I have to store them? You have to store them near the new production plant. Maintenance has to help you. Then you have to oversee the employees. No problem. Good. See you in three days. How many days? What do you have to do that long? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm taking some days off. Okay. Let's start over. Hello, Sadie. Welcome. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. This is the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to go for the supplies. Okay, where do I have to go for the supplies? You have to go to the central warehouse and to the hardware store in Atlanta. Okay, where do I have to store them? You have to store them near the new production plant. Maintenance has to help you. Then you have to oversee the employees. No problem. Good. See you in three days. How many days? What do you have to do that long? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm taking some days off. Okay. This is kind of funny. The end of this conversation. Imagine your boss tells you that you have to do everything and he's just living and he's not going to be there. Oh my God, right? You get scared or maybe you don't like that part, right? Okay, let's start then. First of all, do you have any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Questions? No teacher. No question. No teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now we are going to hear, or we want to listen to Edwin and Silvio, please. Practice this conversation. Role play. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, I am police. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Say, say, Sadi. 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 Okay. Hello, Sadi. Welcome. Hi. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. This is the fear of activity of. Uh, pardon, pardon. This is the list. Of activity you have to do first, you have to to go for the supplies. Okay, where do you have to go for the supplies? You have to go to the central warehouse and to the hardware store in Atlanta. Okay, where do you have to store store them? 
you have to start the near the new production plan. Maintenance has to help to help you. Then you have the others the employees. No problem. Go see you in three days. How many days? What do you oh, have no, no, to no. do that long? Oh no no no. I am take, take, taking some days off. So you, so you feel that these feliz want to chungar to study? <laughs> Don't you feel that in the conversation? <laughs> no sienten que este feliz quiere así como chungarlo. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we want to hear. Okay, Carlos Alberto and Carla Veronica, please. Role play the conversation. Okay. Hello, Saidi. Welcome. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. This is the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to go for the supply. Okay, where do you have to go for the supplies? Do I? You, you have to go to the central warehouse and, the, and to the hardware store in Atlanta. Okay, where do you have to store them? You have to store them near the new production plan. Maintenance has to help you. Then you have to oversee the employees. No problem. Good. See you in three days. How many days? What do you have to do that long? Oh, no, no. I'm taking some day off. Is off. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, look, uh, we are going to continue. Now we see how to express obligations like in a list or a to do list. Okay, we use have to or has to. If you see, maintenance is a department, right? Or people from that department. If it here, I mean, if it says maintenance, it's referring to it right because it's the department so they use has to help okay has to help and when we ask what do i have to do what's my obligation i say do i have okay where what do i have to okay when do i have to do something something okay there you are do you have any questions so far or so far so good No question. No questions? Okay, now we are going to continue. Okay. And continuing with the, the feedback, okay? Continuamos siempre el feedback. Vamos a encontrar los errores, okay? Find the mistakes. Find the mistakes. Find the mistakes. Let's read the first one. And let's try to correct the sentence if is there a mistake or if there isn't a mistake, okay? What do you think in number one? Does. Uh-huh. Auxiliary. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see. We are going to do something because I'm in a different screen, so just let me go up, go up. Go up, please. Go up, please. Does she have? I want to do some annotations, but in this case, it changes. Doesn't allow me to do it. Okay, probemos entonces la opción. A ver si el que va a contestar eh, puede ingresar a la pantalla con un cuadro de texto with a text box to write the correct sentence. 
A ver. Uh, voy a intentar nuevamente. Porque no me da la opción. Quiero ver. Probemos, chicos, a ver quién, si, o si pueden ustedes entrar a la opción de annotation. La, la tienen activada, ¿verdad? Que se desactiva. Yeah, a mí no me aparece. Ok. No está okay. habilitado. ¿Verdad mm, que no? Tampoco me aparece. Ok. Entonces se desactiva cuando compartimos la pantalla de esta manera. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Aquí solo me manda a live presentation. Ok. Let's share this in a different way. Ah, oh, but I don't have it open. Lo voy a compartir de otra manera. No, tampoco. Ahí se me deshabilita también toda la barra. Ok, casi, casi. Almost there, guys. Thank you for your patience. This and then this. Okay. There we go. Okay. Here we are. Okay, here we can do annotations. Oh, well, we can just come here to do the corrections. Okay, first one you said, okay, does, uh-huh. Is it correct already? She have. Correct. Does she have to? Okay, does she have to write the lists? Okay, does she have to write the lists? Thank you, Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Okay, she has to wear a mask in the office. Okay, she has to wear a mask in the office. The next one, can someone uh, correct it for me, please? Hoy sí ya tienen habilitada la opción, ya no pregunté. ¿Los demás? Yes. Ok. Yes. Let's try with this one. Is it correct or is it incorrect? In is it good? Yes, she how to wear a mask. Okay, yeah, number number two is okay. Now, what about yeah. the next one? Employees have to take the bus. Is it correct or is it incorrect? Has, <clears throat> employee has to. Take it's the bus. plural. It's plural, so it means. We are going to use has. have, have, because in singular we use has if it is only one employee, but here it has the letter S for Pluto, right? Employees have to take the bus. I think it is correct. What do you think?
please to participate. Open your mics. Yes, it's correct. This is correct. For me, okay. it's plural. It's correct. Okay, good. Next one. What do you think about next one? Can you read the sentence, please, Kevin? This sentence, just let me get in. It is incorrect. Okay. Visitors have to was. Uh huh. Have. Okay, because it's plural, right? Visitors have to wash their hands. Visitors have to wash their hands. Good. Okay, what about next one? I think I said Kevin also, right? Is it Kevin there? Yeah, I saw Kevin. Kevin, hello. Oh. Ah, there you are. Masu. Uh-huh. Ivan and Max. It's correct. Masu. Singular. Is it singular or is it plural? It is plural. Plural. Plural, two people, right? So we need to use have to. Have to. Thank have you. To. Have to pile the boxes inside. Ivan and Max have to pile the boxes inside. Okay, next one. The rice and the sugar. How about two? Uh huh. Why? Because we are talking about two? Yes, plural. Okay, two <laughs> objects. Two uh -huh. objects. Okay. Okay. Have to be taken to the storage room. Okay. What about next one, Carlos Eduardo? Is correct. Is it correct? Yes, because we are talking about two uh, different objects together, right? Meat and poultry. Poultry. Okay. What about next one, Juan Carlos? <laughs> Is incorrect. Okay, thank you, Edwin. Is it, uh, I mean, it is incorrect. Now let's see what is the correct way to say that. Teacher doesn't have to use the microwave. Okay, let's see. Is it correct, Juan Carlos? Do you agree? Yes. Yes, okay. Anyone with a different opinion? Teachers don't have to use the microwaves. Thank you very much, Karina. If you plural. see, correct. Teachers is a word in plural. So we need to use don't, okay? Don't. And obviously we are not going to use has, right? We are going to use have to. Teachers don't have to use the microwaves. So this is... Mm, Maybe uh, uh, I mean uh, like a rule in a cafeteria and maybe right in a school or something like that. Okay, let's continue here. Is there any question about have to and has to? Is there any question? No. No. Okay. ¿Alguna pregunta con este vocabulario que tienen acá de las oraciones? What is poultry? Poultry. Aves. Carne ah. de aves. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay. So far, so good, guys. Okay, then we are going to talk about storing. Do you remember about storing? Storing. We're going to learn some vocabulary here. Vocabulary. What do you see in the picture? Okay, we have different pictures here, like, like a collage, right? All different pictures. And this is storing, okay? This is storing. 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 Now let's look what is storing. What do you Ferretería. see in the <laughs> Okay, no, it's not ferretería. We are gonna see here. What do you see in the first square thing here? What do you see here in the first picture in this collage? They are tools. Tools, yes, tools for construction, maybe for working with wood or maybe for any other um, handy activity, right? So tools, tools. What do you see in this other picture? Se mira el puntero. Si se mira el puntero? Yeah, yes, okay. Sure. Okay, what do you see in this picture? What do you think it is? Wine. Wine. Yes, it's a winery, right? It's a winery. And what do you see over there? Do you see um, what's the way they are storing the wine? Do you see shelves? Shelves? Barrels? Barrels? See? Barrels? Or, or bottles? Bottles? Okay, bottles, boxes, right? Boxes. These are glass bottles, okay? Glass bottles. Okay, now let's go and see these other products. What are these products? Makeup. Makeup, yay. I love this kind of stores. Okay, aquí hay una situación. Nosotros conocemos hasta este momento la palabra store como una tienda, ¿ok? Pero store también es un verbo, ¿ok? It's a verb, it's an action. ¿Qué significa guardar, almacenar, ¿ok? So, what's the way they are storing these products? On Shelves, shelves, repisas, okay? Shelves, do you see? Shelves. It says, participants can't see my screen. ¿Pueden ver ustedes mi pantalla? En este momento? Yes, okay. yes. Okay, thank you. What do you think is this thing? What? Do you see in this picture? What do you see in this picture? En esta? Que miran. What do you see? Fruit. Fruit. <coughs> Food. Mm -hmm. Good. Food. So it means that's maybe around a kitchen, right? Something about cooking, right? Um, groceries, groceries. Esa palabra incluye todos los productos que compramos en el super para consumo como de la cocina, right? Groceries, groceries. Okay, this place is called storage room, okay? It's a storage room a storage 
room. What about these products? ¿Qué tal estos productos? Estos. What do you think they are? Here it says. Uh -huh. These are hazardous. Hazardous materials or chemicals. Okay, son peligrosos, ¿verdad? Son peligrosos. As, causan un daño si tienen un mal manejo. That's hazardous. Hazardous. Chemicals. Okay. And they are in a closet. Okay. They are in a closet. And they are also the liquids or the substances are in barrels. Barrels. Do you see the barrels inside? Or tanks. Tanks. Okay. This is the way to store the products. Okay. If you see, there, there are some signs that um, tells us to caution about those hazardous chemicals or materials too, right? For example, here it says chemical storage area, chemical storage area, caution, right? Or caution. Okay. I want you to check this now. Okay, this is vocabulary. De lo que ustedes vieron en las, eh, uh, en las fotos, okay, hagamos algunas oraciones, okay, de lo que ya vimos en las fotografías. Y aquí tienen algo de el vocabulario que acabo de utilizar explicándoles en dónde almacenamos esas cosas. Where do we store those products? Okay, so what do you store in a storage place? What do you store in a storage place? Ah, I'm going to write something here. Give me one second. Okay, vamos a hacer algunas oraciones, okay? This note. Okay, tools are in the storage place, okay? Now, another sentence, I want to hear you guys. What about makeup? Makeup, where do we store the makeup? Shelby's. Okay, great. So makeup are on the shelves, okay? There you are. Cuando es una repisa, la palabra es shelf, okay? Cuando es en plural, esta F cambia. Ya leyeron el documento que les envía acerca de los plurales. Cuando terminan en F, ajá, cambia a una letra V y se agrega ES para el plural. Shelf, one shelf. Two, three, four, five shelves. How many shelves do you see in the, did you see in the picture? How many shelves did you see in the picture? Talking about the makeup, talking about the makeup. Let's go and see. Let's go back and See how many shelves did we see? Ah, uh, we saw one, two, three, and there is one at the top. Okay, there is one at the top. Okay, let's go and write it down. Makeup are on the shelves, right? In this case, we could say is, right? Let's remember that. Makeup is on the shelves, shelves. A ver, alguien me da algún ejemplo de lo que ya vio en, la, en las fotos? What about food? 
chemicals in a uh, closet. Okay, chemicals are in the closet. Okay, good. Are in the closet. Thank you. What about food? Aquí tienen las palabras, right? Food are in the pantry. In the? Pantry. Pantry. Yes. Okay, like this? Food is in the yes. pantry. Okay, yes. great. If we have that piece of furniture, right? That's if we have that piece of furniture, the pantries. But if we just have like a little storage behind the kitchen or aside the kitchen, then we can say food is in the storage room, okay? Usualmente en una cocina, eh, hablo un restaurante o ya una empresa tiene sus cosas de comida en un storage room, okay? In a storage room. Nosotros en casa, pues lo tenemos en un pantry, right? Okay. Lo que vimos en la, en la foto fue un storage room. Do you remember? Okay. Aquí estamos estudiando o viendo, aprendiendo un poco de vocabulario de los lugares en donde se guardan y qué tipos de productos se guardan en esos lugares para que podamos continuar y hablar uh, un poco haciendo preguntas, ¿ok? Usando este vocabulario. Now, what do you think mm. is a warehouse? Thank you, Edwin. Come in. Uh -huh. no, books is in the bag. Books. Uh -huh. Is, no, are in the bag. Books. Okay, books are in the bag. Okay, good. If you are taking them away, right? Yes, in the bag. Okay. Hay ciertos productos que vienen en caja, ¿verdad? Que esa es su forma de, de empaque, ¿verdad? Hay productos que vienen en bolsa, like the snacks or the munchies, right? Munchies, churritos, cheetos, right? We have bags of snacks. I love snacks. Do you love snacks? Yes, I do. <laughs> what do you think? Not for lunch, but yeah, <laughs> some day, well, we do that. Uh, so they come in bags, right? Mm, what else? For example, tablets. What is the package or the packaging of a tablet? What is the packaging of a, of a television, guys? ¿Cómo es ese Box. empaque? Boxes, right? Boxes. Mm -hmm. And they have protection against the heating, right? Against the heating, then they have protection, protection, okay? So mm, that's packaging, the way that the products are presented or ready to be transported. Okay, so that's packaging. And usually we buy units, we buy dozens, we buy hundreds. Okay, we buy units, dozen are hundreds. También podemos utilizar eh, un cuantificador, ¿verdad? Para los productos, cuando utilizamos how much, how many. Recordemos, a couple of, a pair of. Remember the shoes? A pair of shoes, okay? If you want to buy some onions, okay, in the restaurant, uh, you tell to the supplier, I need a hundred, okay? A hundred of onions, yeah? Or maybe I need a dozen of um, tortillas pack, okay? Tortilla packs. So we need units of some kind of things like a pan, for example, a pan, una cacerola, a unit, right? Maybe they come in, in packages of three, a, present, a presentation of three products. So this is just to 
have an idea how to count the products. But now, when we are storing things, okay, when we are storing, for example, we have this word pile. It means to put one thing over the other one, okay? One. And then at the top, you put another one. That's pile, right? Pile. Yeah. Lift. We have, uh, uh, es una herramienta, ¿verdad? Que utilizamos el montacargas, okay? Do you have any question about this vocabulary? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de este vocabulario? No. No? Okay. Now we are going. Everyone? No? Okay. Let's go to our manuals. In our manuals, we have a little table, okay, where we can see some products. A ver, ¿qué productos tenemos aquí? What products do we have in this table? Let's see, Carlos Eduardo, what products do we have in this table? What products? Tablets, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, televisions and refrigerators, okay? Televisions and refrigerators, tablets. So these are the features of these products, okay? The features or characteristics of these products. A ver, veamos una cosa muy importante. Weight, weight. What is weight? The mass, remember? The mass. And what are the measurements? What are the measurements? ¿Cuáles son las medidas del peso? Weight. What do we have here? Grams, pounds, okay? And here we have 170 grams, okay, 112.43 pounds, okay, 340 pounds to 380, right? So it's 380 pounds, you see? Aquí tenemos que ver dos cosas para aprender esto. Weight es la palabra peso, pero el verbo no lleva esta T, ¿ok? Por eso acá, en esta pregunta que ven acá, weigh, ¿ok? No lleva la letra T, porque es el verbo pesar o pesa, right? Leamos esta pregunta. Let's read this question. How much does, ajá, uh -huh, the refrigerator's weigh? Usamos does o usamos do? Si lo preguntamos en singular. Is do. Okay, do because it's plural refrigerators, right? Okay, so what about... Uh, if it is in singular, then we can use does, okay? Only one, right? Only one. Uh, lastimosamente, como tengo desactivada ahorita esta situación acá, porque esto es una imagen, okay? No lo puedo hacer de ese modo, entonces lo vamos a hacer de este otro modo, okay? Déjenme meter el cuadrito de texto. Y le vamos a poner do. Yeah. Uh, no se ve, ¿verdad? Can you see it? For some reason I cannot activate it. Okay. Lo voy a poner aquí arribita. Ok. There you are. How much do the refrigerators weigh? Weigh. 
Hagamos esa diferencia. Vamos a ver. I want you to read this thing. Uh, this question, please. Nancy, can you read this question? How much does he, does, does the refrigeration weigh? Ok, aquí ya cambiamos. Aquí ya no es does, aquí es do. Ok, ya lo corregimos. Vamos a ver. Déjenme tachar este. Ok, it's not does, it's do. Ok, um, repito. Uh -huh. Ok. How much do the refrigeration weigh? Ok, then what is the answer, Juan Carlos? It's um, uh, 50. Uh -huh. It's 50 refrigerator. I no le escuché bien, Juan Carlos. I could, I could barely hear you only. Can you repeat? Uh, the refrigerator is uh, 50. Um, did you say 50? Ah, but that's the quantity, okay? Aquí estamos preguntando cuánto pesa, okay? Oh. Cuánto pesa. What's the weight, right, of the refrigerators? So how much do the refrigerators weigh? 340... Uh, Libra, pounds. no sé cómo se dice. Pounds. 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 Mm -hmm. And we have others that are 380, right? Pounds. Decíamos que la abreviatura que se usa en inglés también es como la de nosotros porque proviene de el latín, ¿ok? De libras. Uh, no se usa pounds como P, right? Lo pueden encontrar probablemente como pounds and Canadian, I think, or something. Pero eh, lo común es que vean LBS, right? LBS, like pounds. Aunque veamos LBS, decimos pounds, okay? So, how much do the refrigerators weigh? The refrigerators weigh 340 pounds, and there are others that weigh 380 pounds, okay? From 340 to 380 pounds, okay? Are we okay with this? Now, let's see number one here. What are the dimensions of these tablets? What are the dimensions of these tablets? Can someone answer? The dimensions. Dimensions are here. And let's go and see the dimensions here are 19.3 centimeters by. Aquí decimos by para decir por, ¿verdad? By 13.7 centimeters by 1.03 centimeters. Okay? Correct? You got it? The tablets are 19.3 uh, centimeters by uh, 13.7 centimeters by 1.03, okay, or 03, 03, ok, 
centimeters. Okay. Questions? No questions? Questions? No. Okay, now I want to hear you guys. Okay. Vamos a ver. Two volunteers. Two volunteers. Two volunteers, please. How many televisions are there in a stock? Okay, thank you, Annie. Now, who wants to answer? Uh, the televisions are 100. Okay. Let's see. Thank More you, Annie. Yeah, thank you very much, Annie. So we are going to say there are. There are. Uh, the quantity for the television is 100, okay? 100 televisions, okay? Ahora usemos esta tablita, okay, para que vayamos a los breakout rooms, Ok, y ustedes van a hacer preguntas acerca de los datos que hay en esa tablita, ok. Le van a preguntar a su compañero, van a usar de referencia esas preguntas que tienen ahí, ok. Any question about the activity? Attendance list. Thank you very much. I knew it, you were going to say that. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna take the attendance and then we're going to the breakout rooms, okay? Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Okay, Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Ana Delmi. No. Okay. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present teacher. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Did I say already? Yeah, I think so. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Present teacher. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sánchez. Present. Linda Stephanie Ramirez Abrego. Nancy Yvette Tova Rivera. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present. Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Now we are going to split this group into groups and you are going to practice. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Questions and answers using the data that you have in the tablets, okay? Uh, the, I'm sorry, in the table, in the tablita, okay? In the table. Talking about tablets, televisions, and refrigerators, you are going to talk about the dimensions, the weight, and also the quantity, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. There you are. There you are, guys.
Carlos Eduardo. Are you there? In page 13. Hello. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Yeah, it's the Hello, page teacher. 13 in your manuals. Yo le hice capture pantalla. Oh, good, uh, good, uh -huh. good. Yeah, because there ya you la have compartí. some examples. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Ya la compartí. Bye. Okay. <clears throat> what are the the dimension of this television? Mama, put it. By what are dimensions? Dimensions. All this televisions. O sea, la segunda televisión. Televisión. Okay. Vamos a, a poner la respuesta. ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. The last word sería mm. Mm. Vamos a ver. What are the dimension of the television? Ahí la compré la ticha. Ahí ya la tengo. Listo, mm -hmm. right? Ahí ya la tiene. Sí. Ok. Giovanni, do you see it? No, teacher. Ani. Se me salió en el campo. Mándeme. Can you share your, sc your screen? Can you, yes. share, can you share your, your screen para que Daniel pueda, I'm sorry, para que Giovanni pueda eh, verlo al mismo ah, ya, tiempo ya. que usted? Oh, okay. There you are, Giovanni. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bueno. Teacher, esta, uh -huh. esta, esta dimensión dice 413 in. Inches. Son pulgadas. Oh. Inches, pulgadas, ajá. Uh -huh. Inches son pulgadas. Sería four eh, hundred thirty inches. Uh -huh. eh, pero Ay, in, 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 in the the answers is eh, ay, para formular la respuesta sería Uh, the dimensions of the televisions, okay. The dimension mm -hmm. uh -huh. of the televisions are forty-one three inches by twenty-six point seven inches. Inch. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. The dimensions of the television mm -hmm. are. This is art. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Y ya ponemos el. Exactly. The amount for, or the for, quantities. For mm -hmm. 113. I think it says 41.3. Excuse me, Jovan. Porque are in noise, teacher. The dimensions. Sí. Ah, porque está hablando de diferentes medidas, ok, o 
más de una medida. En este caso está hablando dos medidas, ¿verdad? Like, long and high, right? Long and height, for example, right? So we say are. This Largo and this. Y ancho. Yes, or tall, right? How tall? Mm -hmm. Television or... Teacher, mm -hmm. it is a one, one, four hundred, thirty. Mm, yo creo que no. En este caso, permítame, déjenme verla. Es Let point. Me check them. Ah, yes, it's it forty-one point three. Ah, forty. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, no veía el point. Uh -huh. Forty, forty-one three inch. inches. 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 Uh -huh. el, el, el por, ¿cómo dijo que se pronunciaba? Byte. Byte. Uh -huh. ah, ok. El por es my. Ah, pues sería. Uh -huh. eh, 41.3 inches. Byte. 26.7 inches. Correct. 41.3 inches. By 26.7 inches. Inches, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, by 26 points. Okay, guys, inches. continue working. You are doing a good job, so I'm going to another room. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Bye. There are, are there in the top. Okay. How many? Serían doscientos, verdad? Yes. 200, sí, 200. 200. 200. Uh, tablet in the top. Uh, ok. Ok, guys, keep working. I'm going to another room. You are doing a good job. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. teacher. I, I, I have a question. Tell me. When you um, uh, talk about the dimension, mm -hmm. the answer is correct. Uh, only mention the, the article or, or bueno, español. Uh -huh. solo decir, yeah, era... yeah I, uh, don't, don't worry. Say it in English. You are doing a good job. Okay. You okay. want just to write the, the, the product instead of the dimensions of the television. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. It's mm -hmm. correct. And only, uh, only answer the, the, the article. Uh, yes, for example, it is. The, 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 ta the, ta uh, the, the tablets, tablets are, uh -huh. or is, is better uh, say the dimension tablets are. Uh, no, oh, it's okay. Uh, it's okay if you don't say the dimensions of something, no. something are. Uh, you can say just the tablets are, the televisions are, okay? Because uh, you are saying, okay. and, uh, a, I mean, a dimension by the other dimension by the other dimension. And uh, mathematically, we think about the uh, length, right? The, the, uh, the width or the height right okay. uh so it's not necessary to say that dimensions are okay okay mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the um, second question uh, the the television dimension uh, who, who's that, <laughs> que, que, oh. who's that? Okay, go to go to your manuals in your manuals you have the ta the little table I mean it's not so little it's in the normal the normal dimensions okay original dimensions and so manual this one this one uh-huh 
Um, and you... your manuals, you have uh, the original uh, table, okay? Uh, and, yes, and yes, I'm, yes. It is 41.3 by, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the dimension in the television is... Page 13. Go to page 13. Yes, is, uh, but the dimension is I... The I dimensions N. are inches. Okay, uh -huh, yeah, inches. Uh, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Uh, pulgadas, inches. Se quitó la... Dejaste de compartir. Espérame, voy, voy, voy. Uh, it, the, the, the dimension this one uh -huh. of yes there you are inches uh, inches okay. yes in the inches. same in the same the this one uh, uh -huh. yes in that yes uh-huh it has and the two apostrophes right apostrophe. or las comillas right apostrophes or with one apostrophe mm. is feet yes feet mm -hmm. Pies. Uh -huh. Pero acá no tenemos pies. <laughs> yes, you oh, have okay. feet. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, only, okay. Only that. Yeah. Thanks, teacher. Okay, okay no problem. Go okay. ahead. Okay. Thank you, okay. There you are. I'm going to another room, so okay. let us meet later, okay? Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thanks, teacher. Uh -huh. Yep. Hello, teacher. Teacher. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> eh, disculpe, pero esta de dimensión, por ejemplo, de la televisión, uh -huh. ¿cómo lo podríamos pronunciar? Okay, it is, you see, I N over there, it's inches. In is... Inches. 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 In... Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, Suleyma. So it is 41.3 inches by 26.7 inches. Pulgadas, right? Uh -huh. 40... Uh, uh -huh. In the refrigerator. In the refrigerator. Son pulgadas de 48. Yes, inches. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And you have one over eight, it's one eighth. One eighth. One eighth. Okay. Mm -hmm. One eighth. Inches. Inches. 48 and one eighth inches. Right? Eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. Eso no, 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 nunca había oído así. La medida nunca lo había aprendido, o sea. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Al principio, cuando expliqué las, uh, las sí, sorry, dimensiones, no, 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 uh, no es hoy. Uh, en la primera clase vimos dimensiones, vimos el peso, vimos cómo se decía, o por lo menos está en los slides, ¿verdad? De, para que se vayan y revisen nuevamente eh, cómo, se mide, cómo se mide cada, cada eh, sería característica o feature del producto, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se mide? Por ejemplo, hablábamos de las tallas, en el size, we say small, medium, right? And uh, large, extra large. When we say weight, we say, we talk about the pounds, the ounces, right? Uh, we talk about kilograms, grams, mm -hmm. right? So it depends. Yes, yes, you sí, have sí, to, sí. you have to do it. <laughs> yes, sí. because it's uh, some new vocabulary. Yeah, it's some new vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Thank my you, pleasure. Teacher. Keep working, guys. I'm going to another room. Okay. Okay, okay. teacher. Okay. Okay. Entonces, Kevin.
Entonces mm -hmm. sería eh, the fridges are Forty. Ok. Pero ahí estamos, ¿no? Ahí estamos. Yo creo que solamente es ir leyendo. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Gracias, gracias. Bueno, Thank you. a ti. Bye. Chao. Okay, guys. Let's see this here. Let's look at this. Measurements, measurements. It means medidas, right? Let's remember that when we go to buy something to any store, to any retail store, uh, we specify what is the product that we want. For example, if I say I want something small, I want something big, I want something whatever, right? So if, if in this case, you are looking for a big refrigerator, then they are going to tell you, ah, oh, we have, right? We have some big refrigerators because they have two, right? Or something like that. Um, But these are the measurements. Al principio del curso, el, la primera clase, vimos las características or the features of the products or of any product, right? Y decíamos ahí las medidas de cada característica. Por ejemplo, el peso, the weight. We said kilograms, we said pounds, we said, um, what? Uh, ounces, um, we said a lot of uh, measurements. So, es bueno que vayan y repasen esas medidas de acuerdo a cada eh, feature. Ahora, talking about the dimensions, talking about the dimensions, let's remember that when we uh, talk about something tall, for example, this lamp that I have here, I have a lamp. To, uh, Can't you see it? No, because it is white. It is white. Entonces, no, no se ve esta lámpara que tengo acá. Es tall. It's tall. So, you can measure that in feet. Okay? Usted puede medir eso en pies. For example, your stager is in feet in uh, the English language. But for us is for us is in meters and in centimeters, okay? Bueno, aparte de eso, I'm going to ask some questions and you are going to answer. Solo déjenme ubicarlos acá. Eh, esta cantidad, 48, y tenemos un octavo, right? We have an eighth, okay? One eighth or an eighth? One eighth or an eighth. Y si se fijan, tiene unas comitas ahí, right? So, it means... Pulgadas. Yes, inches. Inches. Okay? These two letters are inches too. Okay? 
Si tuviéramos uno sobre cuatro, write a quarter. Si tuviéramos uno sobre dos, half. Okay, one half. One half. Okay, un medio, right? One half. Un cuarto, one quarter. Uno sobre ocho, un octavo, one eighth. Okay? So, what are the dimensions of the refrigerators? What are the dimensions of the refrigerators? Let's listen to Giovanni Pineda, please. Okay. Eh, eh, listen. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you have problems with the audio. Yes, yes, we can hear you. Okay, with, with Nancy. Okay, but I, I, I said the question. What are the dimensions of the refrigerators? Okay. Eh, the dimension of the refrigerator are forty-eight one eight inch inch inches. Thank you very much, Giovanni. Okay, now we are going to listen to Carlos Alberto and your partner, please. Ahora vamos a escuchar las preguntas que ustedes formularon, ¿ok? Okay. Uh, how much do the tables weigh? Uh, excuse me, I have a problem. Okay. Repeat, well, please. How much do the tablets weigh? Um, the tablet weight is... Uh, uh, 170 grams. Okay, good, good, Juan Carlos. We, uh, and good, Carlos Alberto. Ahora, aquí en este, uh, notemos algo, okay? Notemos algo. Just let me get in there. Okay, para responder eso, tenemos dos maneras, okay? Y tenemos que tener cuidado, yeah? In the pronunciation. Why? Because we could say the tablets weight is, okay? The tablet, the tablets weight is 170 grams. Okay, we could say G. O podríamos decir the way, okay? The tablets. I'm sorry, the, uh, yeah, to say the way, right? Uh, the tablets weigh 170 grams, okay? Vemos la diferencia ahí? Y es weighs or weigh. Weighs if it is only one tablet and weigh if it is in plural, okay? But, veamos ahí esa diferencia. The tablet's weight is 100, 170 grams. Or, the tablet's weigh, right, 170 grams. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? La primera está diciendo, eh, el peso de las tablets es 170 gramos. Y en la siguiente, las tablets pesan. Ok, 170 gramos. Correcto. ¿Ven la diferencia? Yes, Do you yes. see the difference? Ok, yes, so yes. we have to be careful with that. If we are talking about only one tablet, then we are going to say the tablet weighs. Ok, 170 G or grams. Right? Okay? Correct. Are we okay or do we have, uh, do you have any question? 
No questions? No, the last one is single. I don't. Yes. I don't. Excuse me, it, it was Giovanni, right? I don't understand the difference. Okay, the difference is que aquí decimos el peso, okay? El peso, weight, con una T al final, miren la T al final, es peso. Pero sin la T es el verbo. Cuando hacemos una pregunta, por ejemplo, ok, tenemos que tener el cuidado si, nos, si estamos utilizándolo como un nombre o como un verbo, ok. Hoy sí. Giovanni. Sí, sí. Ok, there you are. Yes. Ok, now let's go to see how do we use can, right? Can when we ask for information or when we are talking about possibility, about a possibility. La pregunta con este modal verb, the questions with this modal verb, okay, is the same order, okay, as when we use do, does, and uh, other modal verbs. Can no cambia, okay? Can is for all the pronouns. Can is for plural and for singular pronouns or subjects, okay? It's for plural and singular, the same can, can, can. Ahora, después de la clase, les voy a enviar un video Ok, en donde ustedes van a practicar la pronunciación de can y de can't. Ok, can't. Correct. For you to, when you uh, listen to a native speaker or maybe an English speaker, then you are going to make the difference between can and can't. Ok. There you go. Ok. Al principio... Ok, al principio ponemos can. ¿Sí? Can. Esta es una pregunta directa que solo requiere una respuesta de yes or no. Ok, yes you can, no you can't. So, can I leave early today? Can I leave early today? Can I leave early today? Ok. Can you store the televisions on shelves? Can you store the televisions on shelves? Veamos la siguiente. Let's look at the next one. Have a meeting at 5 p.m. Can we have a meeting at 5 p.m.? Can she have a meeting at 5 p.m.? Okay. No cambia. Y el verbo lo usamos en su forma base, ok? The verb we uh, use is in the base form. This is when we are asking about possibilities. Ahora quiero oírlos a ustedes. Now, please. Um, Ana Cristina, can you can yeah can you please uh, read the first sentence? Can you leave early today? Okay, thank you very much. Can you leave early today? ¿Cómo responderíamos a eso, Carlos Eduardo? How can we answer to that? Can you leave early today? Yes. Okay, the answers are yes, you can. And if it is negative, if it is not possible,
If it is not possible, what could be the answer? No. I can't. Okay, if it is, okay, no, I can't. There you are. Mm -hmm. Podría ser aquí también I, right? Porque le están preguntando a you. So, yes, I can, no, I can't. Can't. There you are. Oops. Can I see it is in white? Yes, I can. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, there we are. Yes, I can, no, I can't. Y lo mismo sería, ¿verdad? En todos los pronombres. Okay, this is asking for possibility. This is asking for possibility. Now let's see, asking for some information. Asking for information, we need a WH word, WH question word plus can plus the pronoun or the subject. And then we need a complement, okay? What we really need to know, right? So for example, what, uh, can you tell me the question words, the WH words? Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Where, why? Okay. What, mm -hmm. where, who, mm -hmm. when. which one? When, when, uh huh. Who, why, why, how, how, okay. There we have some WH words. These are the words to ask for information, okay? In this case, obviously, we are going to use the can model verb, okay? This is asking for information plus the subject, right? It doesn't change either, okay? It doesn't change either. Plural and singular are the same. So we use can. And... In this case, the answer we are looking for, or la respuesta que estamos buscando, will be not only yes, I can or no, I can't, right? We need to explain, right? We need to give a complete answer about the, what they are asking for. So for example, what can, um, Ok, utilizando estos complements no nos funciona mucho what. Ok, uh, veamos con las que tenemos acá, podríamos decir where, where can I pile the boxes? Where can I pile the boxes? Le puedo estar preguntando a mi jefe, right? To my boss or to my supervisor. Hey, where can I pile the boxes? Where can I go and put this box and the other box and the other box on a rim, right? <laughs> Something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and a stock. Stock is la palabra. Stock. Como en un rimero, right? Okay. Where can she store the televisions? Where can she store the televisions? Okay. How can we pack the beverages? right the beverages so uh we use wh words plus can plus the subject plus a complement okay aquí no usamos una respuesta yes i can no i can't right oh yes you can no you can't 
no usamos una respuesta así, tenemos que dar una respuesta completa. Ok, vamos a ver entonces en acción. Can't for possibility and asking for information. I'm sorry, guys. I hear that interference. One second. En su manual, en your manuals, tenemos esta um, actividad. Okay. It's based on the table. Está basado en la tablita. Okay, en la página 13, page 13. Page 13 in your manuals. Let's just read the conversation again, but it wasn't a conversation, so it was a, ta a little table uh, with information and data. So let's see number one. Number one. Can one person store all the televisions oneself? Can you read that please, Karina? Number one. Can one person store all the televisions oneself? Mm -hmm. Go to the little table and see how many televisions are there in stock. How many televisions were in the stock? Let's see. Uh, televisions, 100 televisions. What do you think? Does no. this person need help? Yes. Okay, so in this case, we can answer uh, with a yes, no answer. Okay, so what will be the correct answer, Silvio, for that uh, question? No. Uh... Mm -hmm. no he, he can't, he can't. Okay, no, he can't. Very good. You choose, I mean, you chose the he pronoun is okay. Carlos Eduardo, what do you think? Can one person store all the televisions oneself? They were 100, okay, in stock. Do you think it's possible for one person to do all that work? And maybe mm. one day. <laughs> the whole day, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and maybe yes, on... uh, with the lift. Uh, with the lift, okay, good, good. Maybe they are in the pallets, right? Mm -hmm, maybe they are on piles too, right? So yeah, we could say that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. So we have some different opinions here. Okay, we have some different opinions. Okay, but let's say, no, he can't, right? No, he can't. No, one person can't, right? He or she needs help to do that. Okay, now number two, help or tools, right? Help or tools. Where can you store 50 refrigerators? La Curaçao, right? Where can you store 50 refrigerators? Where? Where? Ah, vámonos a ver entonces el vocabulario de, que tenemos de storage. Where can you store 50 refrigerators? Mm -hmm. Kevin? Uh, what a house? Oh, um, yes. Yes, Kevin? Um, in bodega. Okay, no. bodega se dice warehouse. Okay, warehouse. 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 Mm -hmm. So, warehouse. you. Thank you very much, Kevin. So, in a warehouse, okay, in a warehouse. And 
we could say in a big warehouse, right? In a very spacious warehouse. Okay. Maybe they have those things like in Price Mart, right? Like in Price Mart, those things to pile the uh, or to accumulate the refrigerators, like in those kind of furnitures for warehouses, right? Okay, number three, can you store the tablets on shelves? Can you store the tablets on shelves? Juan Carlos, please read number three. Can you store the tablets on shelves? Uh-huh. Uh, yes, I, I can. Okay, very good. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. If they are in their packages, their, their original packages, yes, we can, right? Yes. We're talking about an enterprise doing this activity of storage, okay? Maybe in our houses, yes, wherever we put them in shelves, right? Whatever we put on the shelves, right? But in a warehouse or maybe in a retail store or maybe in a store, then yes, you can show those in shelves, right? On shelves, on shelves. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, solo déjenme recordarles, por favor, en la eh, plataforma, Hay una discusión eh, que les dejé para el fin de semana y pues solo Carlos Roberto, lo felicito. Carlos Roberto, eh, gracias por su opinión. Ok, muy bien redactada, muy bien hecha. Eh, y me quedo esperando la participación de todos los demás. Ok, me quedo esperando su participación. Ahora ya hay otra. Ahora ya hay otra más para que ustedes respondan una lista de preguntas, ¿ok? Como information questions or asking for information and giving some opinion or giving some information using can, using can, ¿ok? Bien, ahora que ya les di ese anuncio, acuérdense también de hacer la tarea después de la clase, ¿ok? Um, ahorita ya sería tarea hasta la tarea número tres. Okay. Seguimos. What are we going to do now? Siempre hay instrucciones que vienen con cada producto, ¿verdad? Que en dónde se debe guardar. For example, where can I store medicine? Where can I store medicine? Medicine. Mm -hmm. Esto es preguntándolo como una posibilidad, okay? Pero si lo preguntamos como una instrucción, ok, entonces preguntaríamos, where do I have to store the medicine? Ok. Do you see the difference here? Where do I have to store the medicine? Es una instrucción, una obligación. We use have or has, right? But if we are talking about a possibility, where can I mm, store the medicine? Right? So let's go and check this just to finish. Okay, esto es para finalizar. Okay. Here we have some guidelines, okay? We have some guidelines of some uh, possible um, instructions or a 
uh, talking about some products, how to manage those products, right? How to manage, how to store them, how to keep them. So we are going to see here medicine. Ah, let's see. Medicine has to be stored in a dry place away from heat and humidity. Okay. Vamos a ver. Medicine has to be stored in a dry place away from heat and humidity, humidity, right? Vamos a ver entonces, just to finish, okay? Where can you store these products, okay? Where, where, where can you store dry foods? Dry foods. In dry foods, consideramos cereals, seeds, uh, maybe flowers. Uh, consideramos todo lo seco, okay? Como um, podríamos decir, dry foods are like uh, frutos secos, semillas, cereales, okay? Dry foods. Vamos a ver si encontramos en estos guidelines algo de dry foods. Do you see dry foods? Second. Okay, can you please read it? Dry food have to be stored in dry and cool storage room near the kitchen. Okay, you see in a storage room, it has to be cool and dry. Okay, now let's go and see another product. Where can you store glass bottles? Glass bottles, and how? And how do you store that? Let's go and see in the guidelines. Do you see bottles in the guidelines? Yes. Okay. Can you, you read them? You have to store two bottles in an upright position. Okay, so we are talking about how, right? How. And let's see, we have to keep spirits, wines, and drinks in a cool and dark place. We could talk about the glass bottles, right? Because usually these kind of beverages come in, in glass bottles. So just to finish, where can you store tools? Where can you store tools? I don't know if like in the guidelines you are going to find that. Oh yes. And this case is how, right? How can you store? your tools you have to organize the tools by type for easy, easy location okay great what about let's see uh weapons 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 are guns knives um okay weapons Armas, right? Weapons. You have to be aware of locate stately federal regulation to safely store weapons in your household. In your household, okay. Oh. So it means can you store weapons in uh on the table on any table no right mm. because that's dangerous if you have kids for example you need a safe right do you remember a safe is a very good place to store the weapons uh maybe a closet with a lock is a good place to store weapons a locker is a good place to store the weapons, right? So weapons is a very dangerous product and we have to manage it correctly. And 
we have to be aware of local, state, and federal regulation. So it means the law. If not, if any accident happened in your house, then you go to jail, right? You go to jail. Maybe an accident with your kids, with your wife, whatever, you go to jail for having not um, those uh, products, weapons in a safe place, right? In a safe place. Okay, guys, do you have any question so far? No? So now we know how to use can for possibility and for asking for information, right? We now, now we know how to store things, where to store things, when to store things, and how to ask for that, okay? Me toca eh, tomar la asistencia nuevamente, okay? Ana Cristina Chavarría, permítanme, se me movió. Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. No, Daniel tonight, right? Okay, Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Eh, Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present teacher. Ok. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Nancy Beto Rivera. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Okay, here we go. Thank you very much, guys. Now, uh, just let me go here. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. El día de ahora le tocaba a Ana Delmi. Ok, pero ella no se ha presentado. ¿Alguien quiere tomar su lugar en este día para las preguntas? Para la sesión uno a uno. So, solo uno, porfa, no puedo atender a todos al mismo tiempo. No, por favor. <laughs> ah, I got you guys. Ajá, ajá. ¿Alguien quiere quedarse? Me puede hacer las preguntas que quiera hacer. Ok. No. Por eso los admiro, que son bien estudiosos. <risa> ok, guys, no, don't worry. I know, I know you are, I know you are. Eh, bueno, entonces, eh, quedamos así. Eh, time is up. Eh, 
¿Alguien quiere decir algo? ¿Saben qué? No me, no me puedo acostumbrar todavía a que estén con los micrófonos cerrados, chicos, de veras. Para mí es como estar yo solita. Es like exhausting, pero yo quisiera escucharlos quizás un poquito más. Si ustedes me colaboran con minimizar su sonido ambiente, yo creo que podríamos tener como estábamos antes, ¿verdad? Que todos participaban, que, ok, los oigo muy calladitos, ¿verdad? Siento que me abandonan en la clase y yo estoy seco. Ok, entonces sí me hacen falta, me hace falta estarlos escuchando. Ok, eh, necesito que todos eh, pregunten, participen, no tengan temor. Media vez usted tenga el sonido ambiente controlado, hable, ok, hable, no tenga pena, por favor. Ok, guys, then. Have a good night and let us meet tomorrow at eight. Okay. Good night, teacher. Have a good night, good everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. God bless you. Good too. night, teacher. Good night. Amen. Okay. Amen. Too. Bye. Carlos Roberto, are you there? Do you, do, do you have any question? Carlos Roberto. Someone was.